Hey guys, it is me, Hepisarik, and welcome to Lens Island. So we've played this game about a year ago here on the channel, and it's an open-world survival craft game. And recently, it's gotten a huge update, the Uncharted Waters update. So over 30 isles were added to the game, so you can craft a boat, and you can swim to those isles. Plus, new leveling up system and bunch of other things. So without any further ado, let's hop in the game. And there we go, just like that, we spawn here inside of the game. We have here a chest with all the tools and weapons, but we kind of already have all of these tools and weapons. So I don't think we need to take anything. So before we start chopping down trees, and before we start exploring, this place i'd love to give a huge thanks to lens island for sponsoring this video as you'll see yourself it's a very beautiful and very well made survival game so make sure to check out this brand new uncharted waters update and get lens island for 40 percent off during the steam daily deal that lasts until december 23rd or you can also get it for 40 percent off during the steam winter sale that lasts from december 22nd to january 5th and the link to get this game on steam can be found down in the description and now without any further ado let's check this game out because there are so many things that we can do we can build we can fight we can farm we can also start upgrading this down over here. There we go. There is an N and there is a mayor. How can I help you? What is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveler. My name is Gerald. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. Please donate any spare building parts at the town notice board. We desperately need resources to rebuild and upgrade the town. If you help me build Bridgewater back up again, I'll clear new plots of land for citizens to move in. Okay, so look at this, guys. There is this notice board. So we will be able to upgrade this stuff. This way we'll get two new house plots. We'll also get more shops, but to upgrade it, we need to get like 50 grass and a bunch of other materials. So we're gonna start working on that. And I think before we start upgrading this Bridgewater Town, I think it would be nice to finish this tutorial. So we've just visited the mayor. Now we have to explore the map. There we go. This is how the map works. And this is just one of those islands. As I said, there were 30 other islands that were added to the game. All of those islands are going to be unique. And there's a tailor. Backpacks and clothes. Wait, let's go here to this guy. Oh, there's a wardrobe. So probably here we can change the appearance of our character. And we can talk to this guy. Greetings, friends, says Alex. Okay, thanks, Alex. Increase inventory slots to 200 for 50 coins, but still, we don't have any coins here yet. And now we have a few more things to do. We have to build a workbench. We have to place a bed and construct a house. So by clicking tab, we can get here to the building menu, and this is how we're gonna build stuff. So to build a home, we'll require to get wood, to get stones. To craft a workbench, we need to get some grass and some more wood, and then to build a bed, we need even more wood and grass. So let's get going. There go. Let's start chopping down this tree. And, okay, we still can't even chop it down because we do zero damage. Oh, look at this. The reason why we can't chop these trees down, because look at the down right corner. It says no harvesting in town. Okay. So let's try to leave this place. Let's go further away. Can I chop this thing down now? Nope, still can't chop down. Okay, so there's some sort of a cart. Let's leave it. And I think now we've left the town because there are the walls. And I think now we'll be able to chop down trees. Yes, indeed. There we go. Let's start chopping them down. So every time there's this white thing popping up, just click and you'll be able to do more damage. So look at this, there we go, we're gonna start chopping down this tree. And usually we do six damage, but when we click at the right time, we do eight damage. There we go, let's chop these trees down. And how much wood do we get? Okay, we get five logs. Okay, so we've already gotten 30 logs here. I think we'll require a bunch of wood to be able to build some sort of a tiny base. Just as always, we're probably gonna build something like three by three. You cannot mine this stone. Oh, there we go, we can mine this stone over here. Okay, so let's click at the right time. This way we'll be able to do seven damage instead of six. And let's see how many stones we're gonna get from this stone pile. And we've gotten 14 stones. And for those who don't know, Lens Island here has some sort of dungeons. And inside of these dungeons, you can find enemies, you can find bosses. And during this Uncharted Waters update, lots of that stuff has been revamped and changed. So I'm excited to check that out as well. Okay, so let's see once again, what do we need for the workbench? We need some grass. I still haven't gotten any grass. And we can start building a wooden foundation. Maybe let's build it over here. Maybe we could build our house inside of that town. But let's build it outside of the town. There we go. Let's try to rotate it and maybe I'll build... Build it somewhere over here. There go one. Build your first home. Drag any item in your build menu to place it. Okay, so we build one of those. Let's build another one here. But I'm gonna actually move myself this way. And let's build some more foundations. This one here, this one here. And I think we ran out of wood to build even more foundations. As I promised, we're gonna build a 3x3, not a 2x2. Which again, a 2x2 base obviously is gonna require less resources. But we ain't cheap here. We're gonna craft a normal base. And it looks like night is coming in. How does one craft a bed. We need to get some more grass. Maybe I can get that grass with this stuff. Oh, there we go. We can get grass that way. So hey, let's get here some more grass. We can get grass over here from our base. And let's sort of place a bed. We still don't have enough grass though. There we go. Finally, we've gotten 20 grass. Let's get back here to the base before it gets too dark. I think it's already too dark. And let's build a bed somewhere here. Boom. There we go. That looks nice. Bed must be enclosed. Okay. So let's build here some walls. I said that maybe we're gonna build a 3x3, three three, but how about a good old 2x2, two two, huh? This and all we need now is a door. Okay, so now we have enough resources to build this door. 
They go, let's build it, and is that gonna work? Oh no, we still need, need to enclose the bed fully, so we need to build a roof. Oh, we've just gotten some roses. Look at this. This is not grass. These things are roses. Okay, cool. We've gotten some flowers. All right, so let's start building a roof. I think it's gonna be something like this. There we go. That's good. There we go. That's even better. Even better. And there we go. Let's place one more roof piece. And there we go. Look at this, guys. We've crafted an awesome shack for ourselves here. A nice 2 by 2 Can we go to sleep now? We go, finally we can sleep. Let's also set this as our bed. Probably this might be our respawn point. And there we go, another beautiful day. So there's only one more thing left for us to do to be done with this tutorial. We need to build a workbench. And look at this base that we've built here. It looks better than I <laughs> expected. Again, I said that we're gonna build a three by three, but you know what, a two by two is quite all right as well. Let's sort of build ourselves that workbench. Now for the workbench, we need to get some more grass and more wood. And I, I like that. So let's shove down some more trees here. Let's get more wood. I'm kind of curious if it's possible to get another level X so we can chop down trees faster. Okay, so we've already got an 80 wood. Plus, we'll require much more wood in order to upgrade the Bridgewater Town. And we haven't even went to a single dungeon. I'm also curious to go to these dungeons. And I know that these dungeons are pretty hard, but they also have nice loot inside of these dungeons. So I want to go to them. Maybe we can even see those dungeons on the map. Look at this. There's like some sort of a cave. So maybe we could go there. But hey, first of all, as I said, we want to be done with this tutorial. We've gotten 30 grass now. Is that enough for a workbench? Yes, indeed. That's enough for that workbench. So let's build it around this place here. Let's put it in our base. Let's hop inside. And I'll probably build a workbench here. I mean, it fits perfectly. There go, let's do it. There go, we are done with the tutorial. Getting started, completed, nice. So let's see what we can do over here when we click on it. So we can craft a better ax now. Just your standard ax, it does seven damage and our current ax here definitely doesn't do seven damage. Because look at the down left corner, our current ax does six damage. So these things could do even more damage. And it looks like I am hungry, we gotta eat, I'm losing health. Can I get these berries perhaps? Or are these flowers as well? We've gotten three berries, can I pop these berries? Let's add these berries to the quick slot, and I think we can eat them. There we go. Let's eat these berries, baby. <laughs> Finally, we're not going to starve to death because I've completely forgotten about eating. I wanted to build this shack here, and we forgot to eat. Okay, we're going to get some more food later. It's also possible to fish, so we might fish later. Hey, I'm going to get some more berries just so that we don't starve. There we go. Let's eat some more of them. Let's restore our hunger. At least these berries restore a decent amount of food. So that's not that bad. There we go. Let's eat. Let's up back inside of the base and let's explore this workbench fully. We have here a utility box with these weapons. So probably even if you lose your axes and pickaxes, you can always get another one over here from this workbench. All right. Here we can craft a fishing rod. And to craft this fishing rod, we need to get these iron shards. And here we can also craft a bit better sword that does more damage than our current sword. We can even upgrade it to level one. For that, we need 15 scraps and other resources. This is so cool. There are so many upgrades, so many things to do. And there's also now a wood pile to store logs. And we also have this stone pile to store stones. Wood frame farm, farming area to grow your crops. So I think we could try to build it at least. Let's try to build a tiny farm here. I might build it around over here. There we go. So we have no plants to plant yet. I've eaten all of my blueberries. So how about I run around and I try to find some more blueberries? Okay, so we're gonna go inside of there. This is probably a cave. We're gonna enter that thing a bit later. That's gotta be a dungeon. Oh, there's something else here. Hello, this is some sort of island with monuments. Okay. Oh, there's also another boat here. Can I check it out? Uh, apparently there's nothing here. Perhaps I can destroy this barrel. Look, there's a barrel. Let's try to smack it. Let's see what kind of things we can get here. Okay, we've just gotten some wood from that barrel. Okay, so I couldn't find any blueberries, but apparently we can still plant roses. So let's plant here a rose. I'm probably doing something wrong because look at this. There's this watering can and I still cannot build it because we don't have any of those iron shards. Okay, I've just found another barrel and then I'll go back inside of the town. Inside of that barrel, we've gotten some more grass. Over here, I see some blueberries. Can I even gather them? Oh no, we cannot harvest anything in town. Just dig them sneakily. No one is gonna scream at me. We can take those blueberries, that's fine. But anyway, we're back here inside of this Bridgewater town and now we are in this notice board seeing what kind of resources we need to upgrade this place to a higher level. And we can also here check out the characters that we have. So I guess let's get going. Let's start upgrading our town. Let's get all of these resources. It doesn't really look like we need lots of them. So it's not going to be that hard to go and upgrade this town at least once. Oh, we can even start chopping down trees outside of the town. There we go. So let's start doing it. We need 100 trees. I've taken here screenshots of what kind of resources we need. We need here 100 wood. Wood here is probably the easiest thing to get as once you chop down... Oh my goodness! I was just saying that trees are probably easy to get. And there we go. I just got attacked by those bees. But that is 
fine. We've gotten some more wood. So yeah, wood is kind of easy to get because there's lots of wood everywhere. It's kind of easy to spot. And once we chop down a tree, we get lots of wood. I think it might be harder to get enough stones to upgrade the town to a higher level. But hey, we're still going to do it. So we are at 86 wood. And we have here a bunch of grass. And when there's lots of grass in one spot, I think we should just get it. Because it's much easier to get it that way. So there you go. In total, we have now 38 grass. We need how much? We need 50 grass. So we still got to get more. And it looks like another evening is coming in here. But that is fine. We have a bed now. So we'll be able to go to sleep. We won't have to work in the night. So now it says that we are full on wood. We have here 100 wood, so I cannot get any more wood. There you go. We have 49 grass. This is going to be the 50th grass. Now let's get some clay, if that's even clay. And we need 100 stones. There you go. We found another stone pile. Oh, and it started raining. Okay. I don't think we get any debuffs during rains. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I don't know. In any case, it is kind of cool. Oh, and this is a fishing dock, except I don't have a fishing rod yet. We're gonna get it. So we've already gathered 62 stones. We need about 40 more stones. And there you go, we found our bed. I'm not really certain if these roses and other plants can get watered. Oh, we can even plant other things there. Okay, cool, I get it. Look at this. And we don't have any more rose seedlings, so I cannot plant anything. Hey, okay, that's fine, whatever. Let's go to sleep now. There you go, let's take another nap and... Just like that, it's another beautiful morning. Maybe the rose is growing little by little. I'm still not gonna touch it. I don't want to harvest it or anything. A fresh sprout plant that will soon grow flowers. Okay, that's cool. So keep growing there. I'll keep my eye on you, little one. Sometimes you can also find here bottles and get some glass. I think we already gotten some glass. We have here four glass now. Oh, and this is how we get these iron shards. Iron fragments found when mining iron nodes or refined stone. Okay. Understandable. Thank you for the information. So we have almost everything. We just need a little bit more clay. That we are getting here right now. I think we also need a few more stones and then we'll be able to upgrade that Bridgewater town. Is it even called Bridgewater? I'm probably just butchering the name of the <laughs> town. In any case, we found some more berries. Let's get these berries. And hey, once again, let's add these berries to the quick slot. There we go. Let's add them over here. It would be better to maybe grow them instead of eating them. I don't even know if it's possible. Oh, there's another barrel. Let's destroy this barrel. Oh, we just leveled up. Oh, and also I haven't mentioned... But there is a brand new leveling up skill system here. So we have here one skill point. Extra hot bar slot, which is kind of cool. Or we can increase health pool by 25. So we could unlock one of those two things. Maybe getting an extra hot bar is important. But also having more health is important as well. Oh, we can't even unlock it because we don't have two points. So whatever, let's just get an extended belt. That might be kind of important. And then boom, then we'll be able to do other things. Resource gathering damage plus 5%. Okay, cool. So let's keep smashing here more things. And as soon as we are done upgrading that town, we're going to check it out. As I do know that this game has traders. So we should be able to sell our things. And we have 100 stones. That's it. We are full on stone. Let's get back to that town. And let's finally upgrade it. I thought it's going to take us more time to get all the resources. But we already have everything. Do we go the right way? Nope. I'm going absolutely the wrong direction. And we still have here some space for clay. So while we're going back to the town, I think we might mine something. Why not? There we go. Let's do a few more hits. And I'm so excited to go to our first dungeon and die there. Because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I know that already. I can see the future. Oh, there is a castle. What is this? Hello. Oh, maybe this might be even our building. Let's say if I'm going to place a bed here. This could have been our house. This could have been my base. Can I destroy that stuff? Probably not. Nope. No harvesting in town. Okay. Roger that, sir. Where is Mayor? Hello, dude. I came back here. I got all the resources. This dude is going to be very happy. There we go. Let's upgrade now the town to level two. There we go. Now we can get a mining town later on with all of these other resources. But for that, it'll require to have a bigger backpack, correct? Because you need to have 150 wood. And we can only store 100 wood, so we gotta get that other backpack. All right. Oh, there's a mailbox now. What if I touch this mailbox? Oh, villagers. So here we can add villagers now. We need a building. We need a bed. I know what we have to do. We need to build here a tiny house. And then we'll be able to add villagers. And I think we can add one more villager. Because look at this on the map. There is one thing over there. And there's gotta be one more mailbox somewhere here-ish. Oh, there's another dude here. Welcome. Omar, welcome, welcome. Oh, so from this guy, we can buy blueprints. We can... Small bowl of fruit. For that, we need five gold coins. Okay. Light stone lamps. And look at this here. We can also sell wood from this guy. All right, understandable. We need lots of wood to get lots of coins. This guy apparently also sells stones. We can sell here stones or we can sell clay. Okay, there's something over here. Look at this one we see on the map. Maybe I can get to the other side. Oh, we need to repair the bridge with that stuff. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's it. That's going to be our next goal. We have upgraded the town quite a bit. 
We could upgrade it even more. We can start building houses there to add new villagers, which we should probably do. But we also need to care about our food. I keep getting hungry. We need to do something about it. But we're gonna get the bridge. Maybe that bridge is gonna help us get more food. There goes some more berries. I should definitely start growing them. And there is also a dungeon that we need to go to. And so far, I still haven't found any iron. So lots of things to do. And I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty certain to unlock a sailboat in this game. You need to upgrade your workbench. But yeah, to upgrade that workbench, as I said, we need to find some more iron. There we go. We have more wood now. Do we have enough grass? Yes, we have enough grass, but we still don't have enough wood. So how much wood are we going to get now? We have 60 wood. We need a bit more. And then we'll need to sell an insane amount of wood. Then we'll be able to get those coins. We'll be able to get a backpack. And then we can upgrade that down to a higher level. Okay, so I think we have all of the resources. And while we are repairing this bridge, smash the like button on the video if you're enjoying Lens Island. Because I am loving it. It's a really fun survival game. Let's repair now the bridge. And let's go. Okay, what do we have here? This is like some sort of a lighthouse. And this stone. Okay. And I think there are a few barrels. Maybe I can destroy these barrels. There we go. Let's do it. Let's get loot from these barrels. We've gotten some scrap metal and probably coal. There's got to be something here. Like, this stone is shining. I assume it means something. Oh, we can click on it. Let's activate it. What is it? What is this? Oh, we've just... I don't know what happened. But we just activate. Do I do more damage now? I have no idea what I've just activated, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so on the way home, we found here some more blueberries. Let's get all of these blueberries and let's grow them. We already have... Eight or something blueberries. I'll eat just a tiny bit. So if I'm not mistaken, our base is supposed to be somewhere here. There, there's the base, and I think now we can harvest roses. Flowers are developing, though the plant is still not fully grown. Okay, cool. Maybe I can grow some stuff. Why can't I still grow any blueberries? Because I got no blueberry seeds, that's why. Look at this, we have the seeds here. We have zero blueberry seeds. So we can see seeds over here and we can see the food that we can eat. So I mean, we shouldn't probably save those blueberries then. Let's just eat them. And right, let's take another nap now. Let's wake up in the morning. And... Oh, look at this, the tree has just regrown in front of our eyes. I saw that. Can I harvest the plant? Nope, the plant is not fully grown yet. Okay, so let's get some more trees and let's build at least one villager's house. We gotta do it. We're still gonna probably craft the same small 2x2. Two two. That's gonna be fine. So apparently you cannot chop down all of these trees here. So even if you keep chopping them down, they basically regrow every few days or maybe every time you go to sleep. Okay, that's understandable. So that means we're not gonna starve to death. That means we're gonna have enough of those blueberries. <laughs> that's nice. Oh, lucky me, more blueberries. There we go. Let's get these blueberries. And literally close to us, there's that cave. I want to go there. So I'm kind of debating, do we build a house or do we go inside of that cave first? I think it would be nice to build a house first and then we're going to go inside of that dungeon. There we go, villagers. Okay, we can still only... Oh, we can switch them. There we go. We can add stuff here and then we'll be able to sell her roses. So let's start building a house then. There we go. They just need a bed. So let's build a simple, simple house. All right, so let's build here a good 2x2 two two for her as well. For our upcoming florist. So there we go. Let's build here, 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 here. Okay, I think we ran out of wood. We'll require to get some more wood. Can we build a bed? Probably we don't have wood for that bed as well. Yeah, let's get some more wood and other stuff. All right, so I think we should have now enough resources. So let's continue building our base over here. Okay, it says something. Wait, oh, so it says that we already have a building. They need also a bed. I'm pretty certain we'll require to build the roof. We're going to build here a normal base just like ours. Boom. Boom, let's now add a roof. There we go. Let's try to rotate it. We will add another roof here and perhaps another roof here. There we go. Much better. Now, let's add a bed. Hopefully, we have enough resources for it. There we go. We have also enough resources for the bed. Let's add it. And boom, guys, we have another village. I could maybe set this thing as our own bed, but I don't want to do it. We're going to add here another villager. So, let's add not Kevin. But Steph here. Oh, it says to drag a villager here. So there we go. Let's drag her inside of the house and boom. Let's move her in. Finally, you can do something useful. Welcome. Hey, thanks for building me a home. After I finish moving in, you can find me at my flower shop. Okay, how long does it take you to get a flower shop? Okay, maybe that'll take some time. Maybe that thing is already there. That's fine. We're gonna check out florist a little bit later. All what matters is that we've built her a house. Oh, we have a blueberry seed from somewhere. Let's also build a blueberry seed. Can I harvest this thing? Plant is not fully grown yet. Okay, so that thing is still growing. And while we are waiting on that florist to do the thing, let's go here. Let's activate that stuff. Oh, that's not a cave yet. 
Oh, look at this. We need to activate all of these things. And only then we'll be able probably to unlock some sort of a cave. Look at this. We've activated this and that. Wait, what? What? It's like some sort of a mystery, some sort of a puzzle that we need to solve. So let's probably go now to another island over there. Let's see what this island is going to offer us. There we go. There's a glass bottle. We'll be able to get some more glass. Thank you very much. And there we go. I haven't been on this island yet. This is the first time exploring this stuff. Okay. There's a pumpkin. Finally, some nice food. Can I eat it? Can I cook it? I have no idea. But I'm pretty certain we can eat it. Pumpkin, a large and tasty vegetable that'll keep you full for hours. Sold at markets. Okay, cool. We'll be able to eat and do other things. Okay, that's lovely. Weapon too low tiers. So to chop these trees down, we need a higher tier weapon. Okay. I get it. We see another barrel. Oh, yeah, we're getting more scrap metal. So that's great. Wait, once I activated those things, have I unlocked something then? I've just heard something. I thought someone's attacking me. Apparently, my bad. Let's get another pumpkin. Oh, there are more pumpkins. Maybe they keep regrowing once in a while. So that is great. Well, I'm very happy that we've unlocked this part of the island then. It's probably always been there. Oh, and there's a dungeon. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a cave. Oh, no, there's a spider. Look at this schmuck. What is this? Where are, where are they? I don't see. There we go. There's the... Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, I don't want to die. I do not want to die. They probably hurt quite a bit. Okay, can I... There we go. Let's dodge. Let's dodge. How much more health did they have? There we go. Got all of them. Probably. Let's also heal with this thing. I've just eaten watermelon. Can I destroy... Okay, can I destroy this thing? So that they stop respawning. There we go. Just destroyed it. Cool, let's get another pumpkin. I need to learn how to click properly to do more crit damage to these spider-looking things. As long as this stuff is here, they'll probably keep respawning. So let's destroy this blob. There we go. We've just destroyed the blob. That's great. Now let's get inside of the island. I mean, we could have maybe also crafted a torch. Because I still don't have it, so I won't see anything. But there we go, we are loading in. The best resources are usually found in caves and in the islands further from the town. Okay, thanks for the tip and trick. Can I activate it? Oh, to light it, we need a charcoal. Ooh! <laughs> we did it! This is epic. What also is epic that we needed to craft a torch and I haven't crafted it yet. And probably we can get some iron. That's what, how we get it. Iron can be found here. Epic. Finally, some good loot! Okay, give me this stuff. Give me it. Then we'll be able to deal with those spiders up there. We've gotten some stones. I thought we we're going to get iron from it, no? Or maybe we are getting it. I'm just making a mistake. In any case, I think we need here a torch. I don't know how hard it is to craft it or how easy. But we'll check it out. Oh, no. We are getting those iron shards. Okay, let's leave this place. Let's get ourselves a torch. All right, so I just found some more pumpkins up here. We got to get these pumpkins as that's a pretty nice food. So finally, we're not going to starve. Okay, so we're back at the base and I think we can start collecting these roses. So let's collect those roses very soon. We just slept. And let's pick that stuff up. Mature rose. Bush that will not sprout any further flowers. Let's harvest it. Berry bushes are still growing. Can I plant more stuff? We can plant some pumpkin seeds here. Let's then grow more pumpkins. The more, the better. We got enough pumpkin seeds. There we go. We can plant another rose thing. And that's it. There we go. We are out of things to plant. I wanted to craft a torch, but I've forgotten. Oh, there we go. She set up her shop now. Maybe it's always been there, but maybe we have to sleep today. That's awesome. Now we can sell her things. We can sell her roses. Five roses for five coins. So basically one rose for five. How many roses do we have? We have ten roses, so we can get ten coins right away. There we go. Thanks for 10 coins. <laughs> this is epic. What else do we have here? We have some pumpkins, which we cannot sell to her. We have these blue flowers, which are sold for five as well. So probably each flower here is sold for 10. Okay, cool. Thanks. This is epic. We can also buy seeds from her. So we got to get more flowers as this is an efficient way to get coins. Then we'll be able to upgrade our backpack. And plus we can upgrade the town. We can move in more villagers. And different villagers give us different things. They can sell different items. This is awesome. But we are back here and we got to build ourselves a torch. To get a torch, we need more coal. And I think we have everything. 
Let's craft ourselves a torch. I think we can add this torch now over here. And there you go, there's our toolbox. And the torch moved to the toolbox. So now let's add it to the fourth slot. And we've gotten another level. So we can go here to the skill menu. And I think we could get more health, except we need two points for it, so... But whatever, I just unlocked this resourceful thing. So this way we can gather more resources. And I've just noticed that we can upgrade our workbench to level two. And I know that we could go to the dungeons, we can get some loot there, but... I think it would be nice to upgrade this workbench to another level. And maybe then we'll be able to unlock those sailboats. And I'm kind of curious how expensive are those sailboats. What resources we need to build them. There we go, we needed just 75 logs, probably. Okay, there we go. there's one log stock on the roof, but that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Let's go over here and let's see if we can upgrade it. There we go, we've just upgraded that stuff. So fireplace unlocked, wooden fence unlocked, smelt and raft unlocked. Look at that. Now we can craft ourselves a raft. Where is it? Over here, no. No. Oh yeah, there we go, there we have a raft. So these rafts are pretty cheap. All we need is just 40 wood. We can also get a smelter. Smelts minerals into precious ingots used for advanced crafting. There are so many things we can do. All right, so let's jump down a few more trees. Let's get here 40 logs. We got now over 20 logs. Is that a flower? No, we're just gonna get here grass. I 100%, I'm 100% sure about it. Yeah, we're just getting grass. So yeah, we gotta get some more flowers. We gotta find an island with a bunch of flowers. <laughs> then we're gonna get rich. Or we gotta get a bunch of seeds and grow those flowers ourselves. And now let's build ourselves a raft. There we go, we have 62 of those things. And let's build it. Our first ever raft. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's build it over here. So hey, let's hop now on this boat. Oh, this is epic. Can I s leave the boat? Yes. We can leave it and here we have our resources and other things. This is awesome. So we can set sail wherever we want to. We can go now to another island. This is epic. All right, so let's just sail there, but hopefully I don't... Oh, there we go. There's another island. I can see it. I can see it. There we go. Let's go to another island. Hopefully it's not going to be too dangerous for us. There we go. It's got to be there. I can see it, ladies and gents. I can see that island. There we go. Let's leave the, the boat and let's explore. This is so cool. <laughs> we just got to another island. There we go, let's leave this place and let's see if we can... Okay, we can guide, uh, get here, these things. Blueberries, we need the blueberries. I mean, while we're here, we might as well just get that clay. We might as well just get those resources. And then I'd like to go even further and find another island. Because those dungeons aren't going anywhere. Okay, let's try to get this thing. There's another barrel that I'd like to get. There we go, we've gotten some more scrap metal for it. Okay, so let's get on the boat and let's go somewhere else. Okay, there's one more barrel. I think these barrels are always nice. So we might as well just go and destroy this thing. Wait, let's get ourselves an axe. There we go, we just destroyed it. We've gotten some stones in this barrel. Okay. But sometimes those barrels can give us scrap metal. And I guess that's fine. That loot is kind of great. There we go, we've gotten some glass. But hey, let's set sail and let's go that way, perhaps. Hopefully there are no some sort of sea monsters <laughs> and they're not gonna eat me alive. But hey, luckily we have this map so we can always get back to our base. But hey, let's keep sailing and let's keep opening the map once in a while to see if we've unlocked anything. But I think if we keep going that way, look at this, there's another island. So let's see what this island has to offer. There we go. We are now on another island. Let's leave the boat. Okay, okay, these trees, I don't, I don't even know if I can chop them down. Yeah, weapon tier is too low. Can't chop it down. Can't chop those down, so we need to get a better weapon. Okay. Can we get a torch? There we go. We have a torch and we have our things. And now we are full on clay. Okay. Wait, these are flowers. We gotta get these flowers over here. Let's chop that stuff down. Are we getting any flowers? Yes, we're getting those blue flowers. Lovely. And there's also another pumpkin. We're gonna get this pumpkin. Oh, look at this. There are some ruins here. This is awesome. I'm definitely gonna take everything once we destroy this stuff. We've gotten more scrap metal. We found here a few blueberries. Even more scrap metal. And there's a cave, so you can go... Oh, these schmucks are attacking me! I don't like it! Oh, well, they probably do an insane amount of damage. At least... That's what I think. Oh, wow, there's so many of them! That is a lot of these guys. I'm gonna get destroyed here quite soon. Okay, almost don't have any more health. Let's eat a pumpkin. There we go. Once we destroy them, we get a little bit of experience. I'll get that stuff. Uh, we will destroy this thing later, perhaps. Oh my goodness, they spawn so fast! Let me inside of the cave! 
Hopefully, they're not gonna follow me through that cave. As that's not something I've signed up for. Oh, no. More. More, more, more schmucks. There we go. Let's get it. There we go. Got this guy. We're getting more experience. And then we'll be able to go to the top and get these barrels. Okay, so we need to destroy... Oh, no. Okay, let's dodge. I don't even know what... We're I mean, we're gonna get shredded. I'm gonna get shredded here quite soon. We gotta heal up. We gotta heal up. There we go. I got them. Let's go further. Oh, my goodness. These spiderlings. There we go. Let's try to destroy this thing. Because they'll keep respawning if I don't get it. There we go. Got him. Got him. This is lovely. I mean, again, obviously, we're not going to be able to explore this entire cave as we need here better tools. But I can explore at least a little bit, can't I? There we go. We've gotten more stuff, more scrap metal. And... Oh, there are these mushrooms. Let's go. Let's get these mushrooms. We can also get there some more iron. And uh, this thing. There we go. Let's destroy this barrel. We might get here stones, maybe. Oh, no. We've gotten charcoal. Or that's just coal. Wait, let's check it out. Uh, it's just coal. Okay, that stuff is just coal. Can we destroy more of these things? Nope. There was nothing there. Let's mine these iron things. There we go. We've gotten some more coal. Sadly, we didn't get any more of those iron shards. We are inside of the cave, so we might as well just get all of those resources. Okay, I've missed something here. There we go. More coal. And there are these mushrooms, aren't they? Let's get the mushrooms. Oh, and more stuff. There we go. I haven't seen this. There we go. Let's mine it. I'm pretty certain now we can do eight damage to these things. And before, we could only do seven. Because we've upgraded our gathering stuff there in the skill menu. So that is cool. Look at this. Now we've gotten some more shards. And we are full with stone. So now we have a few options. We could either build a stone storage and we can save those stones. Or I could sell them. Let's get some more charcoal. And let's maybe just go a little bit further just to see what this place has to offer. There's got to be more enemies. I know that. Look at that. Here they are. There are these schmucks. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop it! There we go. Let's destroy this thing. And now let's start destroying this one. At least we do kind of like splash damage with this weapon. So we can not only destroy those enemies, but we can also destroy this thing where they spawn from. Okay. I'm also so bad here at combat. Because I can't time things properly, but that's fine. Oh no, this thing, I don't like it. Or just... Have I destroyed it? Yes, we just destroyed that thing. I avoided it. Genius. That's all I have to say. An absolute genius. There's also a house that I'd like to loot there. Oops, didn't mean to get some damage. There we go, got this dude. And let's go inside of this house. Perhaps, okay, there's nothing here. There's nothing here and there are even more enemies. And now there are both of those things where they keep spawning from. So we got to destroy that stuff. Okay, let's dodge them maybe, perhaps. There we go. We just leveled up. That is awesome. There we go. And one more blob over here. Let's just, look at this. I'm doing great. There we go. We got him. There we go. And I've gotten some even decent crit shots there. Nice. We destroyed everything. Let's try to get these barrels. Wait, I'm just going to double check if this house has anything. Okay, it doesn't really look like it has stuff there. And we can go now here. We have one skill point, so we could do some more damage. We could we could increase our damage now. Which maybe that's what we should do. Base damage increase. There we go. Let's get it. Now we'll do more damage. Lovely. Let's destroy these barrels. Nothing there. And perhaps something in the house. Nothing. There is a bed. We've gotten coins! We've just picked up some coins! Okay, that's great. There we go. There's another floor. Nothing here. And there is a bed. Okay, nothing here on the second floor either. Okay, so probably we're gonna go a bit further, but before we do this, I wanna explore everything because as you saw yourself, we can find coins everywhere here on the ground. So that is kind of fun. Oh no, there are these things. They'll do some special thing. Okay, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Some more stones, perhaps other stuff. There go. There are these barrels. I'm just gonna get these barrels and then we'll maybe skedaddle from this place. Because, oh boy. Oh, it's only one thing. So it's not that hard. I'm gonna heal up here real quick. Let's eat. Go and destroy that thing. There we go. Got him. Got both of them. And now we can destroy some of these barrels for more scrap metals, for more loot. 
nice. I mean, we've gotten some scrap metals, haven't we? So maybe it's gonna be enough to build new weapons. Maybe. But to uh, build these refineries, we have all the resources to build refineries and other things. Okay, so after a while it gets better. Look at this, we're getting better crit shots. We are getting better. I almost always get crit shots now. You just, you get into the rhythm. Look at this, crit shot, crit shot, crit shot. And I just don't do the crit shot over there. It's kind of hard to get the third crit shot. But at least I do the first two crit shots and that's fine. Anything useful here? Okay, there's a barrel. Okay, we've got more scrap metal. Hello, hello. No coins for me, sadly. Oh, maybe we can even activate this thing. There we go. Let's light it with coal. Don't know if that's useful or not, but I did that. Okay, let's try to go here to the second floor now. Oh, there's another barrel with loot. Oh, there's some more stuff over here. There are some more mushrooms. There we go. Let's get these mushrooms. And there are more barrels that I've missed. How on earth? Okay, let's get these barrels. Let's get some more scrap metal. Oh, no, there's this guy. It's kind of small. So not that big of a deal. Oh, we could go that way to explore even more things. Can I set this thing on fire? Oh, no, it costs five. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste five coal. I don't know if we can sell it. I don't know if that stuff is useful. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I have no idea. Oh, no, there's this thing. There we go, let's get this guy. Got him, and there we go. Everything's destroyed now. Oh, no, more of those blobs. Oh, wow, I've just gotten an insane amount of damage. That's it. Time for us to skedaddle. Don't know if I can eat these mushrooms. I've just eaten the mushroom. But I think it would be nice for us to skedaddle until we get a better weapon. Then we can progress here further. Even though I think we can deal with them with this weapon that we have here. But hey, it's always nice to get a better weapon. Now, let's try to find a way out of this place. Okay, so let's try to leave this place. And hopefully those enemies that were outside of the cave are not going to destroy us. Because there are lots of enemies here. Okay, so we're going to avoid all of these guys now. Maybe I'll get some pumpkins, though. There we go, we'll get the pumpkins. I will heal up just a tiny bit. And let's sort of find our boat. Where is the boat? Okay, the boat is that way. Let's go, let's hop on the boat. Hopefully they are not gonna destroy our boat. So I'll try to be very fast with it. There we go, let's hop on the boat. And let's skedaddle from this place. <laughs> we got it, this is so fun. So we got some resources. It's time for us to probably swim back to our base. Oh wait, there is a barrel. What if I destroy this barrel? Will I get loot? Oh, yes, we've gotten three bananas! Look at this, there's another barrel. Can we get more bananas? Yes, indeed, we've gotten more, so now we have five in total. So it's kind of fun that we can find some loot just by driving around. And I'm curious if my pumpkins have grown. Wait, why have they disappeared? Maybe I haven't watered them. Maybe I've planted them too close to one another. That is fine. We can go to sleep. And they got another beautiful morning. And we could build ourselves this new iron sword. Look at this. Let's probably build it as we have resources for it. We might as well just get it. Then we could get this axe. Which is probably worth it. There we go. Let's build that stuff. Let's sort of chop down this tree now. We are doing now 11 damage. Okay, way better. That was definitely worth it to craft the sword. It's faster to chop these trees down. Oh, and I think we can gather these blueberries now. There we go. Let's harvest them. And let's plant new blueberries. Can I plant more blueberries over here? No, we just can plant more pumpkins. But I'm not going to do that yet. And I think we have now enough wood for a fishing rod. There we go. Let's craft that fishing rod. And let's try to equip it instead of the mushrooms. There we go. Bam. So let's see how it's like to fish. And let's start fishing. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, we have to click at the right time. Oops. Messed it up. There we go. We've gotten to fish. Our first ever fish. This is nice. We can probably eat it and do other things with it. Small herring fish caught in the ocean. This is nice. <laughs> this is amazing. So as you can see, there are so many things that we can do here in this game. We've done lots of stuff. We've built a base. We've built a boat. We've crafted new tools. We've explored dungeons. We've upgraded this Bridgewater town. And I'd love to say one more thanks to Lens Island for sponsoring this video. So you can get Lens Island for 40% off during the Steam daily deal until December 23rd. Or you can also get it for 40% off during the Steam winter sale that lasts from December 23rd. 22nd until January 5th. You can find the link to get this game on Steam in the description. And I highly suggest you check out my previous Lens Island video or click on the second card and you'll go to my Grounded Let's Play. Or hop over to my channel, I'll go to Playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.